What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Woman Woe, but you can call me Woman. Today, I'm going to be um, coming to you um, doing like a grocery haul. I want to just talk about everything I got. Um, we're expecting a snowstorm. I already went shopping last week, so I didn't really need a, a lot of things, but they said like up to eight inches of snow, so I just wanted to be prepared and just pick up a, things, a few things just in case um, I do get snowed in. So I'm going to... I started the intro on my um, webcam and I'm gonna just like vlog it or record it or whatever it's called on my um, phone and I'm gonna just like show you guys like um, what I bought and the meals I intend to like make and I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it inspires you to eat healthy um, and try one of my recipes. Maybe the next video will be like meals I make and like stuff like that. You want to say hi to the camera, Hash? Come here. Hi, Hash. He's on my lap, but you can't see him and I don't feel like picking him up. So, I'll try to show him by the end of the video. If not, you guys can check out my last video, The Dealer's Daughter. Um, Welcome into Welcome to Woman's World. I think it's what it's called. I did like last two or three minutes of that video. I'm showing Hefe and stuff, and he's hugging me, and it's cute and stuff. So check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, the next clip is going to be of my grocery haul. All right, I'm back. So this is neat. I got some turkey breast cutlets. I have a weird diet. I don't eat any red meat, so no pork, beef, lamb, deer meat, or any of other like weird things that like people, red meat that people eat. Um, I've got a similar diet to a pescatarian diet. However, I do eat like chicken and turkey products, as you can see. So. Okay, and I got some um some wild fresh ocean perch fillets from Canada. So I don't think hopefully Canada's regulating their shit because our government shut down. So I was fucking annoyed to get like seafood and shit like this. However, I did not eat <laughs> red meat, so I have to get like my protein and like all of those good fatty. Fats you're supposed to have. So, perch, good. I'm gonna fry that. Yogurt, it was like 10 for 7, 7 for 10. No, I think it was 10 for 7. I went bad. 7 for 10. And I needed cream cheese. Last week I ordered a whole bunch of mini bagels and I didn't get the spreadable cream cheese to like. My bagels are about to go bad. I got spreadable butter. I have butter, but it wasn't spreadable. So there's that. I got donuts. <laughs> I love pastries, you guys. So any type of pastries. I told them don't give me cake donuts. Wish they did. These people must not be donut eaters. If you were a donut eater, you would know why I say don't give me cake donuts. If I want to eat cake, I will fucking eat a slice of cake. Because I actually like cake as well. Turkey pastrami. I tried to get some peppered turkey, but they didn't have any. And they tried to give me light turkey. I don't want no light turkey. The fuck is light turkey? I like my turkey stirred. So, guess that. I also have short cheddar American cheese. So it's a nice blend on cheddar cheese and American cheese. Get out of the bed. Broccoli rock, rapini. Familiarize yourself with it. It's a good fat dish. Little with tons of good stuff. Spinach. Never had too much spinach. It's an excellent source of vitamin A, C, vitamin K, the folic acids, manganese, and good seeds, source of potassium. So. Green beans. And 
And I tried to get this 50-50 blend that I got last week, but they didn't have it. So this time it's a spinach medley. So it's um, spinach, arugula, and radicchio. It's already washed and ready to enjoy. So, like, these salads are really good because normally I just buy, like, a whole bunch of bags of lettuce like this or different types of, like, lettuce that come in a bundle and make my own salad. But it already comes prepared. So, like, these are a lifesaver. Lots of pulp, lots of pulp. Emphasis on the lots of pulp. I make a lot of smoothies, so this is the liquid I put in my smoothies. And I like pulp in my orange juice. I don't drink orange juice if it doesn't have pulp in it. That's just my preference and opinion and what I like in my smoothies. Apple cider. I love to drink warm apple cider with caramel in it. It's like my morning go-to when I don't make smoothies in the morning. I'm, I normally make apple cider. Then when I go to work, I drink green tea throughout the day in conjunction with all of the water. I can So, there's that. I didn't get a lot of groceries either. Um... I don't know what this is. Uh, mashed sweet potatoes and carrots. I ain't never had carrots in it. But this is good when I don't feel like, like making it myself. Uh, it's already mashed. All you gotta do is heat it up and it does the work for you. Very simple and easy. Cause I normally like try to make everything from scratch, but like I get off at nine, three days a week. So like some nights I just be tired and I don't have the time to make it. So that comes in handy with Stuff like that. Cinnamon rolls. No one has time to make cinnamon rolls from scratch. I don't have a four to, spare four to five hours to try to bake one batch of cinnamon rolls. So I love cinnamon rolls. I'm a sweets girl. If y'all haven't noticed, like any type of carbs, like sweet carbs, dessert, pastry type of stuff, I'm into. Just making sure the video is focusing. Now these are Scarlatas. They didn't give me the right fucking grapes. I don't, I'm sorry. I like to eat. I don't like GMO stuff. I don't want one genetic mutated fucking fruit so like I like grapes and fruits with seeds in it so it's just like I don't do the seedless stuff like it wasn't invented naturally with seeds in it when it was first created so like I'm not trying to consume anything with seeds in it but without seeds in it so that's kind of really frustrating because that's think I put like don't substitute like my grapes if you didn't have them like and I've spent like seven dollars on like a bundle of grapes so like that's very frustrating Sweet peppers. I didn't know it was 32 ounces. I'm going to have to freeze all of these. There ain't no way in hell I'm going to cook all of these before they um, go to bed. It's literally, I just cook for myself. More yogurt. And if you're curious, I didn't get, like, a lot of flavors with the yogurt. I literally just went simple. Cherry orchid. I like cherry yogurt, like, a lot. So, I got a light cherry, too. Strawberry. Strawberry banana. One blueberry. Mount, mountain blueberry. And one orange cream. I never tried this one, but... Whatever, it should be okay. Go lay down. Thank you. She's like up all in the bags and sniffing on and seeing what I got going on. 
slider buns. Gonna make some sliders soon. Told y'all I'm a sweets person. Donuts. Now I didn't know they made these ones. Cinnamon sugar. Again, I shop online, so I didn't know that these were possible. The family size Oreos on sale. Normally they're $2.99. The family size is $3.29. It's only 30 cents more, so why not, right? I got some um, pretzels, some braided twists. Honey Boo pretzels. Those are really good as well. And I shop at Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle is like a local um, grocery store in Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's similar to like a Kroger's. Food Lion, like similar like grocery stores like that. And I got some quick rising yeast. I'm going to be making some dinner rolls soon. So I'm very excited about that. And Raz is like 50% faster than... It rises 50% faster than other yeast. But the only thing about that is like you might have to proof it twice or basically like let it rise like in two separate like occasions. But, whatever. 50%, right? Um, I need a vegetable oil. So I got some vegetable oil. I need a more olive oil because I'm running out for making vinaigrettes and stuff. And just cooking in general, hair use, deep conditioning and stuff. So olive oil does wonders. I think you can even put it on a puss if you have a yeast infection. Just throwing that out there for girls with area problem areas down there. <laughs> I got some pickles for kosher, of course. And I tried this jam and salmon salmon rub. It's a savory seasoning that makes salmon rock. So again, um, with my weird diet, I like to eat a lot of fish. So like. Anything that saves me from like just seasoning and making things real simple and easy, I go for. So I'll probably use this with lemon and it'll probably be really good. It's garlic, parsley, lemon, pepper, salt, spices, onion, garlic, oil of lemon, turmeric extract, smoked paprika, minced onion, savory fennel, ancho, coriander, and cayenne pepper. All of them is like normally what I have in my spice cabinet. So like. Instead of like using all of them, it's all in one bottle. So, maybe I'll do a cooking video when I make like the perch, like fried a fish, to like show you guys how I fry fish. And I tried to get like the salmon burgers that they have. It's like spinach feta salmon burgers, but they didn't have it. And I like, wanted to get the, um, the onion buns by Pepperidge Farm, but they didn't have that either because I wanted to eat my um. My fish sandwiches on them onion buns. Uh, I should have told them to substitute like those buns, but I have sliders and bread, so I'm not gonna be picky. I'm running out of space because normally I put each bag away, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got in this grocery haul. So I got some Nutri-Grain Fours and a flavor of cherry. I don't really like. Um, Nutri-Grain Bars. I, I, I like Nutri-Grain Bars, but I actually like um, Walgreens version of Nutri-Grain Bars better than the regular Nutri-Grain Bars. So when I get the these Nutri-Grain Bars, I just get like cherry flavor because I don't like the strawberry flavor of these. But I love the strawberry flavor that um, Walgreens has. So it's kind of weird, but I'm weird. Croutons for my salad. I like to put different toppings in it. So I got some croutons. I got some pears. I think these are bijou pears. Two more pears. I don't know which ones these are. They had like pears on, so I need a light brown sugar. I have dark brown sugar and cane sugar already, but last week I baked some cookies and they were really good, but um, I, I didn't have light brown sugar. Not that the recipe called for it, but I was just like, oh, I wonder how if I put like a blend of three of them sugars in it, how it would taste them. 
I bought some light brown sugar. The, you know, you keep brown sugar for years, like, because you don't really do it. And I got Fiji apples. One, he loves apples, Pepe. He loves apples. And then two, I like to put, make oatmeal. So um, these go really good in oatmeal. So. That is my grocery haul, you guys. Did I show you guys? I just got one more thing, some honey wheat bread. I'm looking at it. But... Um, I didn't think it was that serious to have to show you guys, but it is a grocery haul, so I want to show you everything I got, everything I purchased, and I hope you like it. Fairly honey wheat bread. If y'all ain't try this, y'all need to, like, um, do what I said I had pastrami. I thought I bought pepper turkey, but they were trying to substitute it with the light turkey, as I told you guys. So that's like a man. But I still have um, this maple turkey that's in the refrigerator that I got last weekend. It's so, so good. And I had got a pound of it. So I didn't like, so there's a pound of one week in a week by myself. So like, I still have that. But again, that's my grocery haul. That's all the stuff I got. I'm going to put the stuff away again we're expecting snow so i'm just trying to prepare myself it's saturday morning i had like a fun night i guess i can try to insert some clips i went like to go get some sushi it was like this unlimited sushi place um called sushi bomb and robinson it's um out by our airport and it was like a sushi buffet but like you couldn't get up and walk to the buffet but it was just like all you can eat sushi you pay, pay an amount and they just like bring you like all the sushi you can eat and like other stuff I ain't really tried the other stuff I was just there for the sushi like if I want hibachi I'm going to like Benihana's or Nakamas but um that is it if you guys wanted me to like start vlogging like my eating experiences because I go out to eat a lot I'm not really like a big like turn upper partier um so, <laughs> my type of, like, idea of fun is, like, spending, like, weekends eating out and trying new restaurants and stuff. So, that's, like, my idea of fun. I'm kind of, like, a, a lame. But, where's all my lames? Comment below on the bottom if you reached it to this part of the video where I'm talking about lame. So, put, put lame. Um, I hope you like my, <laughs> my, um, my robe. It's Armani. This is my boyfriend's robe, actually. I bought it for him, like, a few years ago. But we're going through... It's not a rough patch. It's just, like, we're just going through us. We're just doing us right now. So I don't really see him as much. And I don't... That's fine. But this is my robe. His robe. I'm about to put all of this food away. Thank you for watching this video, video you guys. I hope you hit the like button. Comment and subscribe and push... Press the little notification bell for you guys can get my videos because I want to start trying to post like often as I can, maybe twice a week. If more, that'll be perfect. But thank you guys for watching. All right, so we're eating dinner. I just ordered some sake shit. I don't know if I'm about to just take shots or what the fuck who is going we? on, <laughs> who we think we are, but good luck. Especially if I'm taking some motherfucking shots. <laughs> yeah. Like I definitely don't know what's happening to me right now, but no. I kind of like it. No man at all. No man at all. Are they yeah. take sockets to me. <laughs> yeah.